Hello and welcome back. So the Puppet Master is returning. It is confirmed in the CDN update for today. Exciting, exciting stuff coming out. We are going to go over that. Uh, before we begin doing that, though, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look first at a Morph Marble update. All of this comes from David A's uh, CDN diving, so appreciate the information, David A. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and take a look here in the backpack. We're going to swing on over to our items, and Morph Marble Misteel is the first one I see. You can see that this has been updated with how it is uh, oscillating between the blue and the purple. Uh, let's go ahead and turn into um, Morph Marble Misteel. This is HD as well, so you can see how it radiates as it counts down, and it sort of um, throbs like that, which is really, really cool. So here we are as Misteel heading around, um, enjoying ourselves. Now this is going to be something that we see when we look at this first image up here, which is going to be the Shadow Dragon. It appears that the Shadow Dragon is going to be our first um, uh, Rift boss, uh, the first Rift Dragon that we're gonna have to defeat. There are some really cool details. I'm gonna start up in this top left corner though. You can see that the eyes of this uh, Shadow Dragon, they are the same blue and the purple that sort of oscillate back and forth between each other maybe maybe that's a little bit more purple than blue but it looks like its eyes are going to sort of have that oscillation back and forth which should be very cool now the eyes are going to fit inside of the uh eye hole right here which fits into the skull um and you can see the different types of claws as it attacks excuse me, and as it layers on top of each other. Um, it looks really fantastic. We have a tail as well, uh, the underbelly, and then we have huge, gigantic wings. I can't wait to see this thing in action. It is going to be absolutely insane. Now, um, uh, David A also found some uh, audio. I'm gonna go ahead and play that. I hope you guys enjoy that. After I'm going to go ahead and read it, it's not fully clear. The voice actors haven't been loaded into it yet. So they have some uh, placeholder audio. Um, I hope you do enjoy that audio. Wow, that was amazing. Where did we just go? Did you see that rare pet? I bet we can find more rare pets in there if we keep looking. We just need more of those keys. And as soon as portal hopping grants us a dragon orb, we'll be able to battle one of those giant beasts. But don't forget, we still need to find all of the keystones. Everyone is counting on us. That will surely help us get stronger to fight the Puppet Master again. And I sense a new presence over at Dragon Isle. We should check that out next. Now we're going to take a look here at what the uh, dialogue says. It says that um, uh, first rift, the dialogue newt for post first rift one. Wow, that was amazing. Where did we just go? And did you see that rare pet? And so there must be a rare pet that we're able to get. Hopefully it's a dragon. Um, after that, uh, dialogue newt post first rift two, which should be um, after your first rift. That's the dialogue that comes after. I bet we can find more rare pets in there if we keep looking. We just need more of those keys. So those are gonna be the dragon keys that we have to hunt around for. And then uh, before the uh, puppet master defeats, we'll get a message that says, but don't forget, we still need to find all the keystones. Everyone is counting on us. And then after the puppet master defeats, um, and, and as soon as this portal hopping grants us a dragon orb, we'll be able to battle one of those giant beasts. So that's after the, the Puppet Master defeats that we are going to be seeing the uh, dragon orb, and we'll have to portal hop until we find a dragon orb, which means going in and uh, engaging in the dragon rift run until we get a dragon orb, which is probably a rare drop, and then we'll be able to trigger the uh, shadow dragon battle. Super, super cool. And then this next one is end post puppet master dragon isle. So end game post puppet master dragon isle. So when you finish the pu uh, puppet master battle, it says, um, and I sense a new presence over at dragon isle. We should check that out next. All right, and so that that's probably going to be um, uh, what's going to be happening. Uh, once you defeat the Puppet Master. And then it says, Dialogue, Newt post first rift, 
after the first rift you do after the uh, puppet master defeat this will surely help us get stronger to fight the puppet master again which means which means that we should be seeing the puppet master again we should be able to battle the puppet master again which is crazy crazy cool so excited that P, uh, puppet master 2.0 is coming back and i don't think he's gonna have the same body that uh, I don't think he's gonna be as swole as I have him listed, you know, but I he will be coming back, which is awesome. I don't know if I spent the spend the wheel of koi yet today. Um but I did just trigger my 4 p.m. Uh, daily, so I'm gonna go ahead and collect that. I believe the weeklies reset tomorrow. It's either tomorrow or the day after, but go ahead and make sure you get your weeklies. Um, the uh, treasures are slowly coming in, and uh, once the bonuses hit, I think we should be able to go ahead and finish up this treasure track, which is awesome. Cannot wait until we get Lagoon Shade. Let me know what you think about this. I cannot wait to see that on the map right up here really really looking forward to do a deep dive into there and get all of the info that i can for that so i believe i already defeated my uh guy i'm gonna come on around here take a peek and see if i can find apple pot but i'm pretty sure i already got my apple pot battle in as well um <clears throat> If you haven't checked out the uh, Escape from First Grade, the Obby, please go ahead and swing on in there. Check that out. And uh, let's go ahead and <coughs> take a little look-see around. Um, and yeah, we'll be adding some more levels to that very, very soon once we finish all of the First Grade. Also, later today, we are going to have two videos coming up. One is about the Prodigy cards and Prodigy card games. I'm just writing some rules down for three or four ways to play depending on academic level. And then when that is up, that is going to be coming out later today on my Teacher Pay Teachers. If you want to uh, uh, speak with your parents about getting onto Teacher Pay Teachers um, uh, or having them uh, take a look at that, then that is great. I'm getting some other Prodigy resources up this week as well. Um, so that hopefully you'll be able to have a little bit more Prodigy fun in your classroom next year all right um hope you're enjoying Summerfest. we only have a little bit more time here before summer fest to continue july 21st it's all going to be ending which is uh 12 more days away so uh just a little little bit more time and then we'll have a little longer for our uh not for our summer fest but for our treasure track and um, I hope you enjoy do doing the treasure track, completing the treasure track as much as I do. Um, I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys and be sure to check out the Prodigy cards. I think they're going to be pretty fun. Tomorrow I should be getting out a video on how to print them, how to um, uh, make them, and how to even laminate them so that they last a little bit longer, um, either for your classroom or for you at home. Um, should make pretty cool birthday gifts as well as holiday gifts too. So um, if you'd want to check them out, please go ahead. This will be the first edition. I am hoping to get a second edition out next year or the year after. And I should have about half of the pets ready to go. All right. Take care. Keep on prodiging on. We will see you back here very, very soon. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subbing. Cannot wait for the Dragon Isle. Have a good one all. Bye-bye.